In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a very simple little yard gainer that I like to do whenever my opponents run in a lot of Mabel coverage in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on my channel. Now, if you've been playing any weekend league this weekend, or you've been playing any Madden really at all, pretty much for the majority of the season, you'll know that the best defense in the game is comes to us from the nickel 335 wide. And specifically, it's this Mabel coverage concept. It's this uh, ability to be able to take away the short little flat routes and drag routes and cross, and then also uh, the deep crossing routes. And so I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite setups to go to uh, whenever my opponent is, is running this kind of style of defense on me. So uh, we're actually in the New England Patriots offensive uh, playbook. I actually have a full ebook out on this trip tight end offense. I think it's one of the best offenses in the entire game. But in this specific video, we're going to spend just a moment here talking about um, a very simple little yard gainer that I like to use. Now, you could um, use different concepts. You can actually use the play patch YN. You can use um, verticals. If you have Hot Route Master, there's a plethora, um, several different things that you can do um, for to, to be able to do this concept. But it's basically a universal concept. You can do this out of any any play really in the trip side in and I'm going to be sharing you showing you how to do this just from a very simple uh, hot route setup you don't have to have anything uh, at all on the field ideally you if you have a post route so we're going to come out in the play pats y in but you don't have to have that it's just it's just more of a nice to have so um, defensively what we're going to do is we are going to set up the meta defense so you've probably seen this at some point if you played Madden at all this season and that is basically this right here Essentially what the defense is going to do is they're going to force you to have to throw the ball kind of in this little area right in here. This is a this little radius right here. So we're going to be able to take the underneath flats away. We're going to be able to take a lot of different things away uh, with this. And so my user is going to kind of serve as like a hook curl defender. And so what I like to do whenever I'm defending a defense like this is I really like to go to this play patch my in. And basically the setup is very simple. All we're going to do is we're going to put the square receiver on an out route. We're going to put both of our slot receivers here on hitches. As you can see right here, they're both on little hitch routes and just underneath, just little underneath patterns. And then our running back, we're actually going to put him on a wheel route. So he's going to pull uh, the flat. So what we've got here basically is this wheel route is going to pull those yellows or those, uh, those uh, blue and purple zones, right? Those uh, flat defenders. He's going to pull them to the outside of the field. And what that's going to allow is it's going to allow a nice little pocket to be able to work some of these underneath concepts. Another thing that we want to take advantage of with this is the alignment of the trips tight end. And we're going to show you a little motion snap that you can use that really does a good job against the Mike Blitz 3 meta. It's kind of my go-to um, little simple concept to be able to beat this defense. And so we're just going to motion triangle to the right and we're going to snap him at the numbers. And our first read is going to be on this left side. If the cornerback backs off, Basically, what you're going to notice here, and I'll, show, I'll break it down in instant replay and kind of explain what just happened, because um, we can do this very consistently, and that's what I like about this uh, about this concept. We can do this very consistently. So if you watch this corner, um, if you watch this, basically I'm reading this corner. As soon as you see right there, as soon as he turns his hips backwards, if you look here, he's turning his hips backwards, we're automatically throwing right on the cut. Once we see that he's let him go, and then we're immediately throwing this ball. And as you can see here, it's a simple little seven yard game. It's very, very consistent. Um, now, you might be asking, well, could you do a smart routed out route? I want to show this um, in practice mode just so you can see kind of what's happening. So let's assume that we um, would rather have a couple more yards. So let's try to smart route the out route. And this is some things that I've been noticing. I've been playing a lot of uh, people that have been running some spread concepts at this point in the season but if you watch this smart routed out route against the Mike Blitz 3 it's not terrible but it's a little bit more shady in my opinion. Coverage you sync can do a better job if their uh, zones are dropped at like 10 yards you're gonna have a lot more success. Now I want to share with you a couple of adjustments that the defense can do to slow this down. One of those is they can try to put different zones on this left side guy 
uh, in order to turn this into be a little bit better of a situation for them. So I'm going to show you, this is an outside quarter out of like, for like example, like a cover four. You're going to see here, he drifts to the inside. Easy, um, easy right there. Now Rogers kind of threw a, made a bad pass lead. But basically what we want is we want that guy to come inside. That's really the idea. Um, that's really the idea behind this, this concept is we're gonna bring their, we're gonna bring this slot defender here that's over the top of Tavon Austin. We're gonna bring him to the inside. So as you can see right here, he's gonna drift to the inside. And then you're gonna see that as soon as he turns, turns his hips, I can throw that ball out there rel relatively easily. And it's a very simple little five yard game. Now I want to show you um, another specific type of an adjustment that they can do. Um, let me show you that outside quarter one more time. And I just want to give you a good glimpse of this. So we're going to drop all of our guys back into coverage here, um, just so you, you can see kind of what I'm doing. But if you watch this inside quarter, he's going to actually drift into the hitch. You're going to see that outside quarter zones in Madden 21, they love hitch routes. Now, as you do notice that the outside quarter adjustment typically will cause that hard flat uh, to actually get a, be able to get out there a little bit better, especially if the defense pass commits. And so that's just something that you have to be aware of. Again, if you want a smart route, out route, you can do that. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about. So we're gonna use a, a smart route, out route in this situation, and it's gonna serve kind of the same purpose. But the outside quarter, as you see, is gonna sit down on it a little bit better. If that's Mutt, that's a high overall player, you know, there's a, there's a shot that that could be an interception. So. You just have to be mindful of like what the defense can do. But basically what I'm getting at here is again, ideally we get this right here. And let me, let me just, I'm gonna knock a word up the, light, the other side here, but right out there. But Adrian Amos, as you can see, he's drifting. He's, he's actually making a really good, uh, a really good play on that five yard, that five yard little quick flat. Now, I do wanna touch on what do you do if they, what like what do you do if you know, they are defending them, right? So what are some concepts that you can go to? Well, that's where these hitches really come in handy. So um, Mabel coverage, right? These are flat zones. And so what we wanna basically do is pull the Mabel. So if you look here at the triangle receiver, you're gonna see that that, that little flat zone is gonna pull away and I'm gonna be able to throw that ball. Now, it's a very, very specific motion snap for a very specific reason. So I wanna show you an adjustment that defense might do. They might drop a vertical hook on the right side. So I just wanna show you this. And you're going to notice that if we if we are intentional about our snap on this with this uh, slot, he's going to get into a pocket where the vert hook defenders are going to drift, but he's going to drift there a little bit late. As you can see right there, he drifts. The, the thing that I want you to understand about this is most people aren't going to drop a vertical hook on the right side of the field. If they do, they have to drop two vertical hooks. And so what we can do, if we know that they're doing that adjustment, then all we have to do is just motion a different player. So you see here, I'm gonna motion circle as opposed to triangle. What you're gonna see is that triangle is gonna get out on the, get a little bit better spacing. Another way you could do this is more of a traditional flood. So if you notice that they're starting to do kind of that style of defense, then you could just do something as simple as this right here. Uh, and I would just leave the running back on like an option route. This is really, really simple setup. But what you'll see is they just can't they just can't defend everything. As you'll see here, we're able to just throw the smoke screen out there and just pick up some easy yards. So this is just an easy way to deal with Mabel coverage um, from this. I didn't even touch on most of the time, if they know what they're doing, they're gonna use her. Um, it's very, very likely that they're gonna use her the, 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 the tight end on this play. Just just FYI, it's more like I said, it's very, very likely they're gonna use her in. And so what they're gonna do is they might pass off the tight end, but you'll see that this tight end route really just kind of drags across and gets in this nice little pocket right there. You can check it down. That will be man-to-man -man coverage as well. Um, the primary man beater on this play. Another thing that you could do if you wanted to, if you don't wanna put the running back on like a little outbreaking pattern, this is another thing that you can do. You can just simply take this, uh, this little hitch right here and when you motion him across, you can put him on an out route, just like, as you see here, we've got basically two out routes going. And what you'll see is if they're in man coverage, now that little option route does have uh, some very valuable ability against man to man. If they drop a yellow, you're gonna get stopped anyway. So that's just something to also throw into your arsenal because if they're throwing these yellow zones out like this, again, these motion snaps, these little baby hitches and outs and little quick reads right here, 
are so valuable to this offense. You'll see right here, if I get this guy all the way out here, they're just going to kind of leave him on the side, and I can take an easy three to five yards. Again, really, really simple, but it makes a massive difference if you can mix this in with everything else that you're doing to attack the Mike Blitz 3. I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you want to get my entire Trips Tight End Offensive Guide that shows you step-by-step -step how to execute and run this entire offense at a very high level, you can get that Offensive Guide in the description for just 10 bucks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys later.